Let's go live now to our correspondent, Sofia Batiza, who's in Emilia Romana. Um, Emilia, really, really, uh, sorry, Sofia, we, we, we have been covering the story overnight and it seems like the, there's a pause in the rains at the moment, which I guess gives you a sense of, of being able to assess what the damage has been like so far. Bring us up to date. That's right, Mark. The sun has finally come out this morning, but uh, it's been uh, 48 hours of devastation for the region of Emilia uh, Romagna. The damage here is unimaginable, according to local authorities. And that's because 21 rivers, like the one you can probably see here behind me, uh, broke their banks and inundated entire villages and towns, like the one where I'm in this morning. Now, lots of um, towns are still completely submerged uh, and as you mentioned nine people have died uh a few of them drowned in their own homes. One person was hit by a landslide and a woman was dragged for more than 20 kilometers by the torrents before her body was found at a beach. People here this morning told us that the whole, the whole town was sort of taken over by mud and water and they're still very scared and don't know what to do. Now, several people are still missing. Thousands have been evacuated and are taking shelter in schools and gyms. Sophia, with that pause in the rain, although we do expect uh, it, there was a warning that the rains may continue, what help is being brought in urgently? So rescue operations have continued through the night. Uh, people are um, focusing on trying to help children, the elderly and disabled people. Uh, we also understand that divers are being deployed to look for people who might be trapped underwater. But, you know, these rescue operations are proving to be extremely difficult because so many roads and routes are still flooded and there are entire towns that have no electricity and no phone signal. On top of that, the Italian government held a crisis meeting yesterday. They said that they're monitoring the situation and they're ready to approve emergency aid. And of course, there's been a huge change from the extreme weather, the heat of the past few weeks to this sudden downpour. You're exactly right. Um, this heavy rainfall comes after weeks and weeks of extreme drought here in northern Italy. And that made sort of the effects of these floods, you know, much worse because with drought, the land gets drier and that makes it much harder for the land to absorb water. And that's why several experts are blaming what's happening here in Emilia Romagna on extreme weather caused by climate change. And several people now are pushing for the government to put in place a national plan so that Italy can be better prepared to deal with floods caused by climate change by climate change one government minister yesterday said that you know things will never be the same because of climate change and what's happening here what's happened here in the last 48 hours is evidence of that now local authorities are warning people to be extremely careful because more rains more rain is expected in the next few days and this emergency is not over yet yes yeah, Sophia with those warnings how are people preparing for the next few days what are you seeing around you what's happening So schools are still closed. Um, lots of trains are not working. People are just waking up this morning and it's finally stopped raining. So people are sort of literally trying to move mud that has obstructed so many of the houses around me. But so many people here have sort of told us that they don't really know what to do and they haven't really been given any, um, any guidance on what to do next. Uh, you know, some are blaming the government for not being better prepared for what's happened. All right, Sophia, that's the latest there from Emilia Romagna. Thank you so much for joining us live from Italy there.